using mysqli fetch assert method we are able to get the data what is present inside the database now all the data i have to display inside the table so what i will be doing first step let me remove this second step i am just going to close my php syntax here i will just close this one and here we are having closing if and closing while so i will just open php syntax here in between we are just going to display our table here display table now inside this entire thing this table row i will copy cut from here and inside this i'm just going to paste okay three steps we have done just close this php syntax here this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag now whatever data i am having inside this while loop because our while loop is getting closed here so this data is inside while loop now so this data is going to repeat unless and until i have the data inside the database now i will save this now if i just refresh this one you can see two times i am having this row which means i am having two data inside the database you can see i am having two data inside the database so two times i am having this row now again if i just add some data airports rise select data open add products now if i just come to view products you can see i will be having three rows so basically inside this while loop we have just displayed the data now i do not want static data i want dynamic data there are two ways to display dynamic data first you can create individual variables let me just show you product name and inside this you can just write here row variable and here i will be writing the name of column what is present inside the table now i will copy this here php echo and here i am just going to paste that one i will save this i will refresh this now you can see all the product names are displayed but here the product names are displayed in serial number we are going to fix this as of now we are able to fetch the data from the database and we are able to display the data let me just remove this this is the first way directly you can create the variable and you can pass this variable or else directly you can write the php code and you can just display this one either way you can work let me just comment it out now inside this laptop i will be writing php echo directly i am just going to copy this and here i will be pasting that one and i am just going to close this php syntax i will save this now if i refresh you can see now inside product name i am having all the product names okay you can either create separate variables and you can pass the variable name or directly you can pass this right part anything is fine as of now i am just going to use this way and i am just going to display the data i will be removing this serial number later on we are going to see for image we are going to use image tag image i will be giving src my images are present inside my images folder we have already created this images folder and whatever data we are inserting inside the database that images are stored inside this folder images folder and i want to display the image php echo i will be writing row and my column name is image i will close this save this one i will refresh this i will be closing this src codes and also i will be writing alternative inside this alternative i can just display this one i will copy and i just want to display the name i will close image tag i will save this now if i just refresh you can see images are displayed what i have done i have just written the src inside my images folder i am just getting the image name what is present inside the database 
so basically suppose if i just want to display headphone it will be inside images folder headphone.png will be displayed here now let me just show you echo i will just copy this one and here i will paste save I will refresh this. You can see laptop.png, headphone.png, earbuds.png. These names will be displayed. So, using these names, we can just display the images. And this is our SRC tag. Inside this, we have written the PHP code and we are just closing this SRC. Then I have written this alternative tag. If I am having some issues in my image, then name of the image will be displayed. And this is the closing tag of image and we have closed our td tag. Now if I just write something, I will save this. I will refresh this. Now you can see in place of image, the name is displayed and also we have one image icon. So that is alternative text is displayed. I will remove f. Save. Now I am having the images. Now we have to display the price same way. I will just remove this, copy this entire thing, here I will paste and inside this I am just going to write price, save, I will refresh this, you can see dynamic price is displayed, 34, 65 and 2300, I will let me just refresh my database, 34, 65, 2300. Okay, the entire data is displayed from the database. But if you see here, we are not able to display the serial numbers. You can see I am having one. One for each one. One I have displayed. So, each and every time when it is looping the data, I am getting one. This we are going to fix in next part.